question on homogeneous function. The question is, if f of x, y is a homogeneous function of degree 2 with f prime 2, 3 is equal to 4 and f prime 4, 6 is equal to 12, find f of 6, 9. The options are being given. We need to find out the correct option. So, we are being told that f of x, y is homogeneous function of degree 2. By this, what we mean? And let me explain it, uh, you know, in short. So, I am saying that f of x, y, this function is homogeneous homogeneous of degree of degree let us say n if if i can write this function in this fashion that is if i increase both x and y by a factor lambda x is being increased by a factor lambda and y is increased by the same factor lambda and if i can write it in this fashion that is lambda raised power n times the original function f of x y I am saying that this function is homogeneous of degree n and here this uh, you know exponent of lambda denotes the degree of homogeneity okay now coming to the question we are being told that f prime 2 3 is equal to 4 and we assume this is the derivative with respect to x so let's denote it by f prime uh, 1 okay the partial derivative of this homogeneous function it is being equal to 4 also we are being told that f prime uh, 4 6 it is equal to 12 here okay to differentiate it with this partial derivative let's give the subscript 2 that is uh, we assume that the, this derivative is with respect to y can i rewrite it in this fashion that is f prime to in place of 4 can I write 2 into 2 and in place of 6 can I write 3 into 2 okay it is equal to 12 let's take 2 common so we have f prime 2 here we are left with 2 and 3 which is equal to 6 rather it is equal to 12 good deal dividing both sides by 2 I will get f prime 2 of 2 comma 3 is equal to 6 okay 12 upon 2 is 6 so we have this thing and this thing okay we need to find out f of 6 9 having said that now we are since we know that f of uh, x y is a homogeneous function of degree n and if we apply the Euler's theorem what does the Euler's theorem tell us of degree n it simply tells us if this is the homogeneous function of degree n if I take the partials and multiply them with x and y I should get uh, it equal to the degree of homogeneity times the ordinal function that is and let me write it here so f subscript x of x y if I take the partial derivative of this function with respect to x plus and if I take the partial derivative of this function with respect to y I will get n times f of the original function f of x y that means when I multiply x so here we have x times the partial derivative of this function with respect to x plus y times the partial derivative of this function with respect to y it will be equal to n times f of x y where n denotes the degree of homogeneity applying that very rule here we will get so we have let me write it here x times f prime 1 2 or let me write it here first in this fashion x y plus y times f prime 2 of x y it should be equal to n times the original function f of x y now in place of x and y we have 2 and 3 okay so in place of x and y we have 2 and 3 so can I write it in this fashion in place of x we have 2 f prime 1 of 2 comma 3 plus in place of y we have 3 and f prime 2 x y let's write it f prime 2 in place of x y we have 2 comma 3 
it should be equal to n times f of x and y is 2 and 3, 2 comma 3. And in place of n, since we know this is homogeneous function of degree 2, we have been told here, so in place of n, we have 2 this time. Now we have twice, what is f prime 1? It is equal to 4, so the value of this thing is 4, so can I write it in our Lagunian coloration? So this is equal to 4 plus we have 3 f prime 2 we calculated it as uh, 6 is equal to twice f of 2 3 so this is 4 2 are 8 3 6 are 18 other third is 26 so I can write 26 is equal to twice f of 2 comma 3 dividing both sides by 2 we will get f of 2 comma 3 is equal to 13 okay but we are interested in finding out f of 6 9 okay now can i write and obviously i will be able to write it uh, it means so we have f of 6 9 f of 6 comma 9 can i write it in this fashion that is Mm. f of in place of 6 can I write 3 into 2 and in place of 9 can I write 3 into 3 which will be equal to let's take 3 common times f of 2 comma 3 ok so f of 6 9 is in fact equal to this 3 times f of 2 3 but remember here f of x y is homogeneous function of degree 2 so here we have 3 we have to add the exponent is 2 okay f of 6 9 comes out to be 3 times f of 2 3 since it is homogeneous function of degree 2 so let us assume this is lambda so lambda is uh, exponent will be equal to 2 because it is homogeneous of degree 2 so I have written here 3 square okay don't get confused so this 3 I take to common okay but we are also being told that this function is homogeneous of degree 2 so I have to uh, you know add the exponent as 2 which gives us let me see if I can write it here so f of 6 9 let me write it, it okay George it is a, f of 6 comma 9 came out to be 3 square is equal to 9 times f of 2 3 we calculated it as 13 here so this comes out to be 9 3 is 21 sorry 9 3 is 27 9 1 is 9 now that ka. so this came out to be a sala 117 that means the value of f of 6 9 came out to be 117 okay so let me uh, repeat it here we were told that f of x y is homogeneous function of degree 2 with f prime 2 3 and we assume that f prime to differentiate it these are the partial derivatives of this function with respect to x and y here okay so we have given them in the subscript 1 and this with subscript 2 to differentiate them with each other okay and f prime 2 3 is equal to 4 f prime 4 6 is equal to 12 we, we are supposed to find out the value of f of 6 9 okay so since f f prime 2 3 is equal to 4 this is being given f prime 2 of 4 and 6 is equal to 12 Why, oh, what we did here we uh, you know took two common from this and we got twice f prime 2 3 is equal to 12 Dividing both sides by 2, we get f prime 2 uh, of 2 and 3, which came out to be 6. Okay, then we apply the Euler's, uh, you know, one of the property of the Euler's theorem, that is, when we multiply the partial derivatives of a homogeneous function with x and y in this case, we will get it equal to, uh, we will get it equal to, um, 
equal to the degree of homogeneity times the original function. When we did that very stuff, we were able to solve this, okay? I hope I make myself clear in this video. Thank you.